So uh, it's February 4th. This is the Northampton License Commission. Um, uh, present today are myself, uh, Chairman uh, Bill Rosen, and Commissioner Ryan Capadelli. Uh, Commissioner Elaine Real is absent. Uh, we are audio and video recording this meeting. Uh, is there any public comment on any item uh, not related to the agenda? Uh, in that case, I'll move to the first item, Application for Entertainment, uh, Landrad LLC, DBA and Retreat. Please uh, introduce yourself for the record. Yeah, my name is Nathan Bleehart. I'm sorry? My name is Nathan Bleehart. Okay. And uh, tell us what you would like to do. Um, well, I guess in error, we've been doing it, um, and it was brought to my attention that we needed to apply. Um, on Sunday nights, we play <coughs> um, films on a projector, not with sound. Um, and I thought that that was okay because we weren't charging a cover, it's just more like an ambient thing. Um, but definitely want to know if we have approval to continue with that. Okay. So it's, um, it's films, it's not music? No. <coughs> um, There's a film professor, Kevin Anderson, he teaches at UMass and he curates the, the list. And um, all right, well, and um, so it's just, it's just one evening a week. If you want to expand it, um, uh, we could. Do you, do you have any intention of expanding? No, but I, I was thinking that I didn't include this on there as, as I was sitting here. I was thinking um, I had been under the impression that if, if we weren't charging a cover, we could have like somebody sitting there playing a guitar, this kind of thing. Um, is that something if we wanted to do, should sure. I run into the application? If you wanted to, if you had definite plans, and if you wanted to um, apply for that now, I don't see any problem. Is there anything that No, can we just add any? it to that? Yeah, we just add it to okay. this. Save the trouble coming back. Yeah, uh, that would be great. Uh, yeah, I, I wondered, um, if we've been there a couple of times, and uh, I thought at some point, we would see you asking for an entertainment license. Mm -hmm. The reason I don't usually do it is because I feel like the place, like a pub thing, should be an institution and you should know what you're expecting going there. And if there's some band and all of a sudden you can't do your thing. But it would be nice every now and then on like a Sunday afternoon to do all right. something. Well, what we could do is if, tell us what to put in this license and what you're proposing is of such a scale that I'm sure. Uh, I would have no uh, problem proving okay. you know, the film series and music on you know, one or two nights a week if you wanted to do that. Okay. Um, Brian, do you have any um, questions about that? So, okay. so, um, so I can amend that document. Um, you want to do that? Just come and see you tomorrow and do that? Um, we can approve it now. We'll, it'll just be it'll just be um, and issued then, as an entertainment license. With, yeah, um, I have the entertainment license ready, but I'm gonna have to change it, so you'd have to get tomorrow. Okay, I'll do that. And I'll bring the few. <coughs> All right. So, um, why don't we say then that uh, entertainment for um, uh, a film film series and occasional acoustic music. Um, uh, Say several, uh, several, several evenings a week, something okay. like that. Great. Is that too vague, or do we need to specify? No, we don't need to specify the day. <coughs> um, so um, that'll save you the trouble of coming in. Okay. If you just want to um, do a couple more things too, if you decide that you're going to have um, a regular um, a series of you know musical acts, something like uh, what they have are going to do. Um, down at uh, one bar, you mm -hmm. know, it's going to be renamed or something like that, or any any sort of place that's a regular music thing. Then yeah, come in and we'll amend the license if you know if, it, if it's appropriate and all that. But if you're just doing these things occasionally uh, at this scale, then we can make a license to reflect that, and it's up to you, you know, how you want to proceed from there. Great, thank you. So. Um, are you still associated with the Moon and Dove? No, I'm just in a friendly fashion. But they're no longer part of the same. Uh, no, nope. that was Daniel. That was his, and then he and Jerry were partners at the Truth. Daniel left, and I, I came see. in and took over for Daniel. 
especially. They have music there though, right now. So. No. No, they don't. Okay. All right. Um, so. Um, Did you make a motion? I will make a motion then. Um, propose that we um, uh, issue a license to um, uh, Landran LLC, the Dirty Truth, for entertainment to consist of. Uh, uh, Occasional showing of independent films and occasional acoustic music. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Yeah. All right, to item number six. Item application for short term by Mall, uh, Mall Heritage Committee. At St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Parish and Holly Street, the hand of the fundraiser on March 6th. Mr. Robert Gibblewitz. Right. Um, it's a fundraiser to help defray the uh, expenses of the annual Pulaski Day Parade. Uh, and this is a, has been an annual event. This is the one that used to be held at St. John Kansas. That is correct. That's where it is. Um, I see all the paperwork is here. And the uh, whole sharing committee is designated. So, um, do you have any questions for Mr. Lewis? No. Did you get the insurance? I had to get it. Is that my time? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I make a motion to grant the uh, application for short term and wide and mold the um, old Polar Parish Committee at the St. Louis of Nancy and Parish. There's something. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next item is application for short term line and mall trustees for this library. Uh, we have three events uh, February 13th, March 5th, and April 2nd. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Just identify yourself for the record. I know who you are. Faith Kaufman, I'm the Arts and Music Forest Library. Fine. Okay. Uh, so tell us what these events are. There are art receptions for the monthly what exhibits. By local artists, the one, two, and things like that. Okay. And um, these are conducted in the same space, under the same conditions as the They're all events that you Yeah, been all doing. In, the, in the gallery. Okay. Once and uh, you request a fee waiver for, for these events, these three events. Okay. Do you have any questions? I'll make a motion then that we approve um, Trustees Forbes Library to receive the short term line and mall licenses on February 13th, March 5th, and April 2nd with a fee waiver. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, item number eight application for short term line and mall, Northampton St. Patrick's Committee. Um, the uh, same venue, uh, yes, uh, church, um, on February 27th. So this is a fundraiser for the uh, St. Patrick. Yes, this is our annual dinner mm -hmm. held once again at the uh, Parish Hall of St. John's for the um, our, uh, Marshall winner and Brendan the War winner. Okay, who is the? Uh, the Marshall this year is uh, Patrick Deegan's very active in the uh, Youth Sports and Boy Scouts and right. Brendan the Ward are uh, uh, Jim and Brenda Ryan were active in the Free County Fair. Okay. Um, and uh, it's the same as uh, previous years? Yes. It's sort of event that you're planning? Same, same time frame, everything else. Yeah, didn't I go to one of these at the or several of these at the you know, hotel in Northampton? That'll probably be the breakfast. That's oh. the, we oh, call sponsor that the Chamber of Commerce on St. Patrick's Day itself. Right, I see. Um, okay. Do you have any questions? Maybe not. Um,
second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Hector. Thank you. Or to bring the insurance document as well. Um, Maybe you'll just see that. Oh, you're right. Right. But you know what? I didn't get it stamped yet, and I forgot to stamp because so I didn't like how it was. Oh, sure. Okay. Did you get the certificate or something? Yep, and I need the check. Okay. I can get that. Oh, okay. If you want to give it to me now, I can mail it to you. Sure. Is it City or Yep. $61. $61? Yep. Yeah. Actually, no, wait a minute. You have all alcohol. You were requesting all alcohol, correct? Yes. Can you guys amend that motion? I'm sorry. They're requesting all alcohol. Oh, oh, let me see. Yeah. Sorry. So it is. And okay. Sorry. Just, uh, here. All right. Uh, could you make a motion to approve all alcohol structures? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. New business. Uh, uh, are you from Bombay Royal? Yes, Royal. Yes. Could you come forward just a second? Uh, um, if you could just identify yourselves for the record. Yes, um, my name is Juan Gis. Uh, uh, my name is Pramod Warrior. Okay. And um, this is a new restaurant. Yes, it's right? a it's a new restaurant coming up in uh, One Roundhouse Plaza. Okay. Serving so lunch and dinner. Okay. Are you in a place with the old Korean restaurant? Yes. yes. Okay. And um, uh, you've already begun to serve, but yes. no, no big problem. No, I, I we apologize sincerely because uh, we were not aware of the procedure. Okay. Unfortunately, you know, we did not the procedure and apologize for that. No, no, yeah. Because so unintentionally. Yeah, in, in the Commonwealth to have a restaurant, you need a common visual's license. So if yes. you open another one, just get it ahead of time. Long, you got yeah, the Board of Health thing ahead of Yeah, we, they had, uh, we had approval, so we are under the impression, like uh, he told, we are ready to serve, and we made a public announcement, and we didn't want to back it off. Okay. So I uh, really apologize sincerely for okay. that. Okay, it's, it's, it's not a big, big problem okay. uh, here within uh, a reasonable period of time, so I see you've got information. Uh, we have the Board of Health documents. I I called them and I got a verbal okay from them okay. in the building. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions for what you doing? Okay. Uh, I'll uh, make a motion then that we approve a common insurance license for, uh, uh, this, this is, it's Bombay, it's Ragam Incorporated, DBA, Bombay, Bombay Royale. Um, Second. Okay, all those in favor? Uh -huh. Okay. Also. Thank you very much. Thank you. So we come back here. I'm sorry, I didn't get stamped. Yeah, if you can come back tomorrow, we'll oh, give it to you. Thanks. 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 There's going to be one more, another addition. Okay. Um, wait a minute, you're not born. No, I'm going to talk to you about that because okay. they're not going to be here, but I was wondering okay. if she could go first because she has Okay, I see so you have some, some business? I just found out today. Okay, um, why don't you come forward and you can hear me, so. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? My name is Abby Duquette. Okay, and uh, what are you doing? I am here. With, um, I'm from Signature Sounds Recordings, and we are putting on a Tonky Tonk Happy Hour on February. February 26th as part of our second annual Back Porch Festival. 
Okay. And all of the proceeds will go to the International Language Institute of Massachusetts, which okay. is a nonprofit. Um, and it's just going to be a two, two to three hour event. It's going to be two hours, but for we wanted to put in four to seven for setup, just in case, because I wasn't exactly sure. Okay. Yeah, the, the time usually is you know, where, where you attend for the service of alcohol, so. Okay. You know, that, that's really what the, what, what okay. when we say time, if you need you know, to do you know, loading equipment, you know, if you're not serving to the public. Okay. That's that's not relevant to us, of course. But if you're going to do this uh, in the evening, then on uh, February 26, in 32 Masonic Street. That's the old Masonic law garage, and the old where the Quaker meeting thing is, or that. Building. It's very close. It's where the parlor room is. Oh right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so you're doing it in the parlor room. Yes. Um, do we have insurance? It's coming, and we don't have it as of right now, okay. but it's in the works. It may be possible for us to grant this provisionally, but you would need to have an insurance before you have, to have the event. And uh, you're, uh, uh, who, is, uh, who is providing the service of alcohol? I am. My, oh, oh, do you mean? Who's, who's actually, ser who's actually serving the drinks? Serving the drinks? I am, I am TIP certified. Oh, Happy okay. to My name is Abby DK. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Then, um, okay, so virtually. Do you have any questions for Mr. Kett? I do not. Okay. Make a motion to uh, approve in the short term or all? I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, why not? Why not? Because they're not. I can't uh, see it, so. so I'll make a motion to approve the wine and malt. For our signature sound recordings, 32 Sonic, on um, February 26th. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Get some new shirts. Yes. Yeah, yeah, check, I guess. Okay, great. Right. Check. Have your sauce soon with the insurance, and I'll give you the first Thank time. you so much. I really appreciate it. Who's, who's playing? Who's playing? Who's playing? Yeah. Um, Roy Sledge Trio mm -hmm. from Nashville. Nashville. I should come. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so next item. Uh, so she's dropping, um, you saw the, those emails, right? So um, Lloyd's dropping a tattoo guy, uh, Timothy Roberts, right? And um, it's not all a done deal yet. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to explain what I understand so far? Please. Please. Okay. I spoke with Lauren. She is intending to purchase it herself and, and have the business just for herself. I'm not sure if she's still going to change the DBA like they had planned because the DBA was to match the tattoo people's businesses because it was a midnight thing or whatever. So I sent her an email. I have not gotten a response from that yet. But she is intending to get all her new paperwork in to be on for the March meeting. Okay. Um, I explained to her that everything needed to be changed and probably she needed to do a new um, legal notice in the paper because it's it was changing stockholders from two to two and now it's two to just her. Even though no people are changing other than driving, I'm assuming that yeah. has to go back in. Yeah, no, I, I gave her some thought afterwards and I thought, yeah, we just need to go I through like it's it a, like it's another change in ownership or else the ABCC would approve it anyway. So so yeah, it's just as if she hadn't come in before. Okay. So uh, have her provide the necessary documents and uh, Mr. Barnes. Okay. What do you think? She, she doesn't have a DBA yet. I, she she has not bar? responded to my email yet. Right. So, yeah, okay. so she doesn't have a name. I, I just assumed that she wasn't going to change the DBA, so I haven't put that paperwork through because that, that's all set, that doesn't need anything else, but I'm holding on to it thinking that possibly she won't want to change it and then change it again. Right. All right, whatever she presents to us though should be, you know, the same. A whole new packet with that. A whole new packet so we can give it to the ABCC and not have them send it back to us, you know, to do something else. Um, but she's still operating and serving at one bar and grill in the interim, right? 
Yeah, and she is the new manager. We that had been approved. Right. So. Yeah, I remember that. But he wasn't the new manager in any case. He yeah. was just chairman. Okay. All right. Yeah. Then then just have her come in. Yep. Do it as if it was the other thing that didn't happen. So. All right. Um. Any other business? Okay. We'll be adjourned. Okay, bye.